What do I recall insulin pen, a contaminated chocolate bar, and a phone that caught fire have in common? They're all the result of a quality failure, and they cost their companies millions, sometimes billions of dollars. Today, I will be exposing real incidents across pharma, food, cosmetics, and tech, cases that prove one thing, if your quality system fails, your business could be next. Stay with me till the end, because mistake number 7 involves fake data and global humiliation, and it might be the most shocking of all. Welcome back to Pharma Health Insights, where I decode the realities of pharma, manufacturing, and quality systems. Today's video isn't just about pharma, it's a wake-up call for anyone working in healthcare, food, cosmetics, tech, or any product-based industry. We're diving into 7 major real-world quality failures that cost companies millions, and in some cases, lives. Now, out of respect for legal sensitivities and industry professionalism, I won't be naming the companies involved. But I'm sure many of you will recognize the cases and relate instantly. Because whether you are in tablets or tech, ice cream or injectables, a quality failure doesn't discriminate. Let's dive into the top 7 quality disasters across industries and learn what not to do. Failure number 1 Pharma Contamination, a global generic manufacturer. A leading generic drug manufacturer was once a symbol of pharma dominance. But inside its labs, corners were being cut. Stability data was fabricated, validation protocols were skipped, failed batches were retested until they passed. The fallout, bans from major global markets, a half billion dollar settlement, and a catastrophic fall from grace. Lesson. In pharma, data integrity isn't optional. Skipping documentation or faking compliance may seem convenient, until it ends your business. Cross industry insight. Imagine if an aerospace firm faked engine test results. One failure could take lives, and the brand, with it. Failure number two food safety a popular chocolate brand in Asia. This chocolate brand was loved across the country. Until one day, consumers found worms inside chocolate bars. While the factory met hygiene norms, the issue came from poor storage at retail. Still, the brand took the hit. They launched a nationwide trust campaign, overhauled packaging, spent crows regaining customer confidence. Lesson. In the consumer's eyes, your quality is only as strong as your weakest link. Even third-party failures damage your brand. Insight for cosmetics and pharma, improper transport or storage can ruin temperature-sensitive products. Cold chain or warm chain, storage matters. Failure number 3 Cosmetics, Talc Controversy in Baby Care a legacy cosmetics and baby care brand faced thousands of lawsuits over allegations of toxic contaminants in talc-based powders. Even though the scientific debate continues, the real concern was weak raw material testing, inadequate oversight of mineral sourcing, no red flags during incoming quality control. The cost, billions in settlements, brand trust erosion, sales bans in select regions. Lesson. Raw materials are the first line of defense in quality. If you don't catch a defect at entry, it'll hit you at the consumer level. Failure number 4 Tech, a global smartphone giant's battery crisis. One of the biggest mobile phone brands launched a flagship model, sleek, powerful, and dangerous. Within weeks, devices were catching fire due to battery malfunctions. Why? Rushed product timelines, wanted to beat competitors' launch, poor thermal spacing in battery design, no time for in-depth validation. What happened? 2.5 million devices recalled, airplanes banned the phone, over $5 billion lost in operating profits. Lesson. Speed to market is useless if your product self-destructs. Validation is not a bottleneck, it's a safeguard. Pharma analogy. Imagine launching an injectable drug without stability data. You may gain speed, but you lose safety and your license. Failure number 5 API mix-up in injectable manufacturing. In a tragic case, hundreds of patients were harmed after a life-saving injectable drug was found to contain the wrong active ingredient. Why? Contaminated raw materials from overseas, lacks vendor qualification, no high sensitivity identification tests. This incident became a global wake-up call for pharmaceutical regulators. Lesson. What goes into your product defines what comes out. 
Never cut corners on vendor audits or raw material QC. Universal Insight, even in software, unverified third-party plugins can crash an entire platform. Trust, but verify. Failure number 6 Clean Room Design Flaw in a Sterile Facility A sterile injectable plant was shut down after regulators found contaminants in clean zones. Why? Shared a use between sterile and non-sterile areas, faulty air pressure gradients, lack of particle monitoring. Products were recalled, exports were banned, and the facility needed a full redesign. Lesson: HVAC is not just infrastructure, it's part of the quality system. If your air isn't compliant, nothing else will be. Food, tech and site. In food, improper HVAC causes mold. In electronics, static damage. Air quality matters everywhere. Failure number 7 Data Manipulation in a Multinational Clinical Trial In one of the biggest compliance crackdowns of the decade, a multinational company's overseas operations were found to be bribing doctors, fabricating clinical trial results, submitting manipulated data to regulators. The penalty, nearly half a billion dollars in fines, global scrutiny, collapse of operations in that region. Lesson a toxic culture of fear, falsification, and pressure will always collapse under audit. Good quality starts with good governance. Cross industry insight, it's the same in finance, aviation, tech. When data integrity fails, trust dies. Here are the most common patterns across all these cases. Data integrity failures, rushed timelines with skipped validation, weak raw material and vendor controls, faulty design in HVAC, packaging, or product structure, lack of employee training or audit preparation. If you don't proactively address these, you're inviting disaster. Solutions and preventive action. Train your team not just for compliance, but for critical thinking. Audit your vendors like you'd audit yourself. Validate everything. Don't guess. Don't assume. Document the truth. Even if it's uncomfortable, promote a quality-first culture from the top down. Because quality isn't just a department, it's your business model. Which of these stories shocked you the most? Comment below. I love reading your insights. Share this video with your quality, production, or engineering team. It might just prevent your next big mistake. And if you're serious about building a quality culture across pharma and beyond, don't forget to subscribe, like, share to Pharma Health Insights because excellence begins with awareness.